Hi guys, another quick video for you today. I've had to switch up cameras so that I can show you my phone. Um, right, now we're going to discuss a bit about MyFitnessPal primarily. We've already discussed flexible dieting and the way most people go about flexible dieting is by tracking their macronutrients and calories. And the way they do that is by putting them all into an app such as MyFitnessPal uh, to make sure that they're hitting their goals each day. They need to track every single thing that they eat and drink and stick it into the app. Okay, so I'll show you how to use the app. Okay, here we go, let's see. So, here's my phone. Let's do it over here. Okay, so we've got my fitness pal there. We clicked on that. And as you can see, I've already got my breakfast in there, which is 400 and odd calories. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now, the way we add food, let's say we'll go on to meal number three. We're going to add some food. Press add food. These are all the foods that I've recently had broccoli blah 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 let's say we're gonna have some chicken so we've searched for chicken there's chicken all different amounts there so you, you want to pick the one that that suits you the exact chicken that you've had put it in the right amount okay let's say we've had um, Let's be more specific, chicken, breast, search, okay so I've had the Aldi's 100 grams of chicken, it's 24 grams, you know that looks about right but you can check it on the back of the um, pack. Right, if you wanted to, if, if your food wasn't there or it was different to the food that you're trying to find, you've got a barcode there. So that'll switch on, then you, you would scan the barcode and it would bring up the macronutrients that are in that food. Um, however, be aware because sometimes they are different to what they say on the packet. So if they are, you need to go on to My Foods create a food okay so let's say for example let's say it's asda and let's say it's chicken breast let's say the serving size is 100 grams let's just say because that's easier and one serving is 100 grams Next, please look at the serving size. Okay, I need to put grams there. Next, I would check the back of the pack and I'd say, let's just for example, 100 grams is 100 calories, and let's say there's zero carbs in there, there's 25 protein, there's two fat, you know, zero saturated, and you just fill in everything that's in, that's in there. Some things don't have things on, but let's say, let's say that's done. There you go. 100 grams of chicken is 100 calories. That's that. Okay. Next, if we wanted to eat the same as we ate yesterday, but much quicker, we can just click Add Yesterday's Meal. So I've got a random picture at the top there, <laughs> but meal from yesterday. So. I had some crayfish tails, some munch too, some beef scotch fillet, and we had some pilau rice and a winter spice ribena. So I could just tick that. That's put everything I ate for that meal yesterday in there, so it's much quicker. Okay, so that's my diary. You can click on the top. You can see if that was the end of the day, I would have had 160 protein. 174 carbs, 24 fiber, and 38 fat. So I'd say that's a nice little 
induction of how to use MyFitnessPal. There are slightly more complex things that you can do with it. So just have a play around, but you know, for example, you could create a meal, you could create recipes. You know, I've got several things there, Seb's lamb madras, spicy veg, vindaloo, and pumpkin soup, all sorts. Anyway, we'll leave it there. If you've got any questions, just stick them on and I'll give it a go. Cheers, guys.